Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Xanadu, the channel, me, the person, whatever. I wanted to talk about the Vital Brace app again. I want to talk about the Vital Brace again. So what I wanted to do was talk about the Vital Bracelet app for, for your cell phone. The original video I made on the original Vital Brace app did pretty well for the channel, and for good reason. It's a good, informative video on how to use that app. For the new app, it's similar, but a lot different. Overall, I wanted to do a video that talks about how to use this app, specifically since you can't really use the old app at all anymore. I feel like I, I need to do an updated video, and I felt really bad when they shut down the original one. Quick backstory, the Vital Brace Arena was announced during the life cycle of the original Vital Brace. Then it was hinted at again when the Vital Hero came out in America, which is the American release of the Vital Brace. This app originally was just supposed to be a player versus player app where you could actually fight people who have a Vital Brace from all over the world in real time. There was a versus mode somewhat in the old Vital Brace app, but it wasn't like real time battle. You were just fighting like ghosts essentially. This one was pitched as like, hey, we're actually gonna let you fight your friends, which initially was like such a cool idea. Then the Vital Brace B was announced and at some point, the Vital Brace Arena app became not only a PVP app, but also just overall an app for the Vital Brace B. The Vital Bracelet B, which I have right here, any of the character watches, all those are only compatible with this app. When the old app was active, these didn't work on it, which made me really upset. The way that this works is that it's split into three different sections. So there is Vital Hero, which is only for the American Vital Brace releases. So if you own a Vital Hero, it will only work in that section. I don't know why, it's kind of upsetting. The B section, the B section is for really anything you're running on your Vital Bracelet B. The Vital Bracelet B is compatible with all previous DIMs. That includes Comrider and Ultraman, and obviously all the Digimon DIM and any of the anime dims or new Digimon B memories that have come out in the last year, they're all gonna be in that B section. Vital Hero, just like previously stated, is just for the Digimon Vital Hero stuff. So that's all the American stuff, or just in, in general, if you're using an American Vital Hero, you can only use that section of the app. Then there's the Vital Bracelet series section of the app. Now that might sound confusing, but really all that is is just the Japanese Vital Brace. So if you own any of the Japanese Vital Braces, that's where you're gonna send your Digimon or your Ultraman to. Kamen Riders, if you have a B, all that stuff is gonna go in the B section. For the purpose of this video, we're sticking to the modern stuff. This is really if you own a B. Pretty much everything I'm saying applies to the other sections as well. Just to reiterate, as far as sections are concerned, all that means is just the actual device you're using. If you're using a Vital Hero, you're gonna click that. If you're using a B, you're gonna click that. And if you're, gonna, if you're using an original Vital Bracelet, you're gonna click that section. So opening up the B section, there are quite a lot of sections in this part of the app because the Vital Bracelet B has a lot more than just Digimon and Kamen Rider and stuff like that. They are now adding more anime. Obviously, first and foremost, we have Digimon, which we're gonna be focusing the most on this video. Everything I'm gonna tell you applies to the different sections as well. We have Kimitsu no Yaiba slash Demon Slayer. We have Tokyo Avengers, My Hero Academia, Ultraman, and Kamen Rider. So anything that I'm raising on here, I'm going to select that relevant part of the app here. So since we're talking about Digimon, since I really only own the Digimon dim cards at the moment, we're going to select Digimon. We're going to hit OK and enter into the app. Once we're in the app, it takes a while to load. That's one thing I will say. This app is egregious with its load times. It is just like, oh my goodness, it's, it takes forever. So while I'm talking, the app is literally loading. I'm actually not going to cut this out. This might seem a little awkward, but I am not cutting this out just so you can see how long the load times take sometimes. That was how long this damn thing takes to load. Now that we're finally in, as you can see, I do have two Digimon on here. The Digimon that you have in your party, they do give you free ones. I think for every single section, they actually give you free Digimon, which is very nice of them. For this section of the app, the B section, they give you Gammon and Beetle Gammon. They do have test character written underneath them. I do believe you can send them to the app. I haven't done that yet, but you, I think you could if you wanted to, or send them to your watch, I mean. So a couple things, you have your first and second. These Digimon can be swapped out. All you have to do is click these little green icon with the arrows. When you select that, you can pick which Digimon you want to switch them with. I have Paladin mode and Imperial Digimon Dragon mode, but I can make Paladin mode or Dragon mode. I can make them Gamma on, or I can switch back to Dragon mode, or you can switch them between the two of them. So we hit the back button and we're going to go back to the main screen. I'm going to cut out the loading screen this time, but it's probably going to be as long as the last loading screen you just saw. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to where it says send. And it's going to tell us about the vital bracelet. So what we're going to do with the vital bracelet, we're going to take our vital bracelet. We're going to go over to the character we want to transfer over. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to transfer over my newly raised Jessmon. So we're going to make him our main Digimon or our main character on our watch. We're going to scroll over on the watch to the connect option and we're going to click where it says app log link. The watch is going to show a icon that says touch. We're going to hit transfer on the app. And with that all said and done, we're going to tap our phone to our watch. Keep in mind, you do need a phone that is compatible with NFC. This will not work with a external NFC reader. The phone needs to have NFC cooked in. So make sure that your phone is compatible. We just got an ability. That's something that happens every time you transfer a Digimon in for the first time. They get a random ability. So they can be from, I believe, D to SR. And I just got an SR, which is really nice. So this one says Synchro. Raises the BP by 50% if ally character has the same attribute, which is pretty nice. Not too bad. And as you can see, my Jessmon that I have raised on my watch is now successfully sent to my app now this also works vice versa you can still send digimon from the app into your watch that's a little different this time and by a little different it just mean that it's a little hard to find that menu when you're first poking around here so to send a digimon from the app into your watch you want to press and hold the digimon on this page right here where this formation page you have some options here you can see your stats you can see your total health or your vitals and you can also see the ability you have, and you can also see the attribute that your Digimon is. So there's a send icon and a delete icon. Delete will delete the Digimon permanently from the app, and you don't want to do that. So what send is going to do is send is going to allow you to send your Digimon back into your watch. So you hit the send icon. It's asking you if you want to send it to your vital bracelet. You say okay, and you do the same thing. You put your watch into the app log link selection, and then you just tap it over, and you can send your Digimon into the old watch. Keep in mind that you might have to reinsert the DIM card in which the Digimon was originally from. Very similar to how the old Vital Bracelet app worked. If you haven't seen that, still watch that video because you might get a better idea of how this whole system works. But that's pretty much the rundown of sending and receiving Digimon into the Vital Bracelet app. And that's pretty much it. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. Also, my members, my Xana dudes, you guys are the awesome. I, you guys are the awesome. You guys are the best. You're really awesome, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. If you watch all the way to the end, make sure you leave a like and let me know what you think about the Digimon app. And I hope this has helped. Leave any questions in the description down below or in the comments down below. I'll try to help as much as possible. But there are a lot of glitches and stuff with this app, so there might not be a lot I can help you with. But I hope you guys have fun with this app. It might not be lasting that long. Probably will last another year and a half if the last app is anything to go off of. So just keep that in mind. Have fun with it. And uh, that's it for me. Peace.